Hey folks, welcome back to how I did that. Today we're going to be talking about sweetness. I used the body from the light bulb head, bright idea, and just replaced his head with a normal head instead of a light bulb. Then I added in the counter, which was just like, I tried to replicate a sort of plasticky thing. You can't really tell. Photoshop image sequence of numbers 0 to 9, which I then imported images as planes. Um, chair is fine. Uh, the bowl of candy was a physics simulation, uh, which is why a bowl fell out of it, and they sort of like rolled around for a bit. This animation was kind of last minute. I did it all the day before it comes out. Uh, because I just hit 500 subscribers as so I thought why not treat you guys and give you an animation that you subscribed for instead of uh, gameplay videos that you unsubscribe for <laughs> which is why the motif of 500 comes up that's the only real reason that it's a 500 mile stone. the sound effects were all from classic build engine uh, first person shooters, largely from Duke Nukem, but some came from Blood as well, I think. And the music was intense. It, it crashed my FL Studio a few times, <laughs> which is kind of messed up. But that was the latter half. The first half, I wanted something more akin to The Thing soundtrack, the original The Thing. Oh, not the original. The John Carpenter one. Um, and then what happened was I just ended up recreating the voice of love from Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. Recreated the notes, the actual tempo and note duration were different obviously. But <laughs> So I sort of leaned into that and shifted the notes to make it sound more like uh, uncomfortable. Or something. The second half, I just went ham with electric guitar, bass, and drums. It sounds pretty rockin'. I don't know why it crashed my FL Studio so many times, but I think that just the instrument I used was very intensive. So having three of them, like the VST instrument, uh, having three of them just overloaded the CPU, I guess, and just crashed it over and over and over. I had to re-render it re-export it, uh, I don't know, five times because I kept messing up the export options and that included having to recreate some of the notes. Um, I took a screenshot in case it crashed and it did crash. So I tried to recreate it from the screenshot, but I think some of the notes are different because they're like hiding behind other notes. I don't know if you guys care about this at all because it's just like a behind the scenes rather than how I did it. It's kind of the same thing, so I'll just cut that out. I don't know if I've brought this up in a previous how I did that, but I apply a mosaic because I like uh, hard edges, corners. The uncompressed version played at the start of this. I don't know, I like, um, I like, I like pixels and I like clay. Uh, any other things I should bring up? Oh yeah, I recorded some sound effects with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I can find um, mouth sound effects in my uh, sound library from build games. So I just recorded some. I could have just used my other sound libraries because it's um, it wouldn't matter because my voice wasn't as compressed as the build engine sound effects were. But you can't really tell because they were pretty quiet in the background. So. Yeah, I think that's just about it. There's probably some other stuff. Bye-bye! <laughs>